the crop circles are something that are, um, they're multidimensional and they're meant to be taken and read any way you want. You know, one of the first questions that people always ask is, who's doing them? Where are they coming from? And this morning, maybe it was last night, I, I got the answer. The answer is you. The answer is that you're the one that's doing it. You're the one that is, literally, I mean this very literally, that this is a very embedded, multidimensional universe. And um, whatever meaning, when you look at the crop circle, you are creating... <laughs> it was fine before. Yeah, You're creating that crop circle to be what it is. So this is a basket. Um, we are, uh, it's almost like a tray. It's like something that I can present the meal to you on. And one of the things that crop circle makers often do, this happens often and this has happened from the beginning of the phenomenon, is that they'll come back a little bit later and they'll expand on the design. And so for this basket, not only are they letting us get a handle on it, <laughs> they, uh, they've also indicated, um, they've taken the uh, circumference, they've taken the circumference and folded it out. And that specific geometry is actually one half, you're going to see a lot of this geometry in, um, in the presentation that's coming up. So just remember that for right now. This came down in uh, 2008. And um, if you can see, it's a solar system, right? And there's a definite array of the planets. And the, there's a date in there. Can you guess the date? Can you just off the top of your head? Yes, well, it's um, definitely referencing December 21st, 2012. Actually, this is one of those ones that uh, they came back a little while later and um, made an adjustment to it. They thought, the farmer at first thought that he was going to mow it out, and then he must have changed his mind. He came down the tram lines. These stripes that you see here, these are called the tram lines. It's where the, the farmer takes his tractors and does whatever he needs to do in the field so he doesn't have to go throughout the whole field. He just goes down the tram lines. And um, he'd come and tried to mow a bit of it three times, which actually I think is really interesting. Anybody heard about three days of darkness? And has anyone heard this reference that there might be three days of darkness? Well, maybe that has a reference to that. You know, like I say, who's, who's making these crop circles? You are. I am. Everyone is. The farmer is. The consciousness that's surrounding, all the multiple consciousnesses that are surrounding the planet. The planet herself is. The solar system may be making them. The, um, the cosmos itself may be making them. So this second one that came down, this was on uh, July 22nd. I want to point out a few of these details. Um, first of all, the sun, what was in the center as the sun, has expanded. That was it before, and this is it now. The sun has expanded and covered the orbits of Mercury and Venus. Mercury is the head, Venus is the heart. And the light of the sun has expanded to engulf both of these aspects. I think that's really interesting. Um, second is, you know, we've got this huge, empty completely empty circle that's the same size as the solar system sitting next to it. And then there's all this funny little doodads, googas, dross. It's, like, it's as if some people have looked at this and thought, oh, it's a depiction of a cell. And these are all the organelles of the cell and everything that was inside, inside the being has been scattered out. It's like it's emptied. It's completely emptied. The, um, I think this is an interesting little figure. It's almost like the board of directors at the oval table. <laughs> and, um, but that's on the outside now, you know. So what could this possibly mean? You know, we are on this 2012. Here we are. It's 2012. Oh my God! <laughs> it's the year of 2012. It's like this is this just feels very um, auspicious, you know. 
that we're receiving, we're receiving the information from the crop circles, from our brothers or, or whoever it is that's out there, all of us all together, we're letting ourselves see a mysterious manifestation that's going on. I just want to show you that um, there are uh, geometries that are referenced uh, in the cosmos, it's certainly in our solar system. So this is a, a um, graphic that was made by John Martineau, magnificent uh, geometer, who found, figured out that if you average out the orbits, there's, you know, the orbits are, they're not perfectly round, they're elliptical a little bit. So there's a minimum orbit and there's a maximum orbit and then there's a mean orbit which is the average of those. And if you take those three numbers for each of the planets and then put them in relationship to each other, you find these geometries going on. It's incredible. So like there's this uh, pentagonal geometry that's going on between Mars, Earth, and Mercury. This is between, uh, also a pentagonal between Jupiter, Mars, Earth, and Mercury. Jupiter's also on that pen pentagon. And Venus, I don't know if you know this, but Venus actually draws a pentagon, pentagram in the sky as it goes around the sun. And from our point of view, it, it's very consistent. It draws a pentagram in the sky. Earth and Saturn um, is a relationship of 1 to 30. And um, I don't know if any of you are astrologers, the Saturn return is also around 30 years. It takes about 30 years for Saturn to actually go once around the sun of our 30 years. And uh, the size of Earth to Saturn and the orbit of Earth to Saturn's orbit, it's also the same relationship. Uranus to Saturn has this hexagonal, which I think this is really interesting. The, um, the planet Saturn has, is representative of limits and, um, hold on, I've got it written down here, uh, rules and structure, you know, practicalities, it's, it's about, you know, let's bring it in and make order out of everything. And Uranus, Uranus is lying on its side, it's like the planet of revolution and freedom and you know, it's completely opposite, and yet they have this relationship. And this is, of course, this um, hexagonal re uh, relationship, the triangle up, the triangle down. That's symbolic of male and female. It's the union of opposites. And it's a balanced union of yin and yang as well. And then the outer planets, uh, Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus, have this relationship of... Um, uh, a double pentagram, a decagon, which, you know, deca meaning ten, like decade. Um, they have a relationship to each other according to this double, um, double pentagram, actually like interfolded the same way the, hex the hexagon is, hexagram is interfolded. You can do stars interfolded like that. So we're going to be seeing this. So this was one of the one of the very latest ones from the, this wow. past year in the summer. Wow. Um, this was uh, August fifteenth, and this has that decagram um, geometry in it. Um, it has five long crescents on the outside, and so and they are uh, appropriately spaced to reference the Venus cycle there. Um, uh, and then this was at the plantation. This is, okay, you want to see? It's at Jubilee Plantation. This is the Jubilee year in ancient uh, times, you know, in the Bible and even back before that. There was this thing called Jubilee where every, when you go through seven cycles of seven, which is 49, the year after, the 50th year, which is 10 times 5, which is, you know, the decagram, uh, the 50 year, you do something called Jubilee, where all debts are forgiven, all sins are washed away. And this is, you know, just prior to coming into 2012. We're being told, time to wash away our debts, time to forgive and forget. Feels good, yeah?